Oh, say, that's a nice gun you've got there. Whoa, check out the cut of those cheeks. Damn, thunderclap. <laughs> Consider it a divorce. <laughs> So what the f was Project Xenophobe in 2005? Is it a game about a fear of foreign people? Or is it a point and click adventure about aliens? I think it's the latter, but I genuinely don't know. So let's find out. Unfortunately, but not really surprisingly, this is the only any kind of art I could find to put above me. Little bit of music going on in there, cool. Okay. We're in a briefing, uh, 900 hours yesterday we experienced communication failure. Two hours sent in special, special ops recon unit, haven't reported back. Thundra, Tundra probably, is a very advanced research facility for weapons and defense technologies. Research files and equipment there are top secret. They must not fall into enemy hands under any circumstances. You two have been selected for this mission because I believe you are the best suited to the task. Your mohawk and your helmet. Before we begin, let me remind you that you will receive special equipment for the mission. It includes prototype low-altitude parachute, which your pilot will brief you on about further. You'll also get this Pokeball, uh, a data pad with programmed access. Da, da, da. Now, let's begin your briefing. This is your destination. Location is classified known only as the highest, only two the highest-ranking U.S. Army members, and now the two of you. Important points are as follows. Okay. <laughs> This red H is the insertion point, yellow dot is the bridge, white building is the Tundra facility. Detailed. So, so when one hour later... Okay, I'm ready. It's about time. Hey, what's your problem? That's enough! I'm getting, from the, the two soldier guys, I'm getting real, um... I can't remember their numbers, but the two prominent henchmen in... The Monarch's crew. Yes, General, you told us, but I don't understand how we can jump with parachutes from 15 meters above the ground. Isn't that suicide? You know who I'm talking about from the, the Venture Brothers. <laughs> All right, experimental booster shoot, completely safe from 12 meters or above. What about, what about below that point? I'm not going to do those voices the whole time. I might do his voice, though, because... The Ray Romano one is... tickles me. I can't believe how uncomfortable these shoots are. We won't need these stupid things anyway. I'm taking mine off. Alright, it's only about your safety. Only about 12 meters anyway. Hey guys, we are approaching LZ. What? I will circle around the compound. You two get ready. Okay. Is he flipping me off? Oh. do have a problem. Uh, the f <laughs> Thank God for this parachute, I guess. Helicopter just disappeared. Oh, so that was on purpose. That wasn't some weird thing. Uh, important, most important mission I've ever had. Aga, help me. Oh, wait, that's not him. It's, oh! It's a barefoot scientist. <laughs> Did I just see someone jumping off that cliff? What the hell is happening here? Sigh. I suppose I better get down from this tree. I would, uh, I would probably say knife. Time for action. Woo! Excellent action. Stab him in the nuts. Uh, should we look at long, long way down? Um, data pad mode, automatic code transmission. Doesn't work. Parachute doesn't work. Uh, how about, don't need it anymore. Is there movement? Ah, click to move. Classic. Ooh. What was that? I saw something. No, wait, little man. Um, I saw something pop up. Crack. Investigate your crack. Something is shining in there. Well, get it. Do I need to pry it out? Doesn't work. 
Oh, maybe I need to tool it out. It's a crab. Looks like there's still... <laughs> I hate crabs. What do we have here? It's a kind of lens. See small dots on it. Very small writing or something. Can we investigate further? Lens. Some dark dots on it. Oh, hello, sir. Sure. Um, look at, look at this data pad. Sure. What? what? Kind of joke. Invalid codes. Well, isn't this just great? Why are the codes incorrect? Where can I get the correct codes? Where can I get the correct codes? At my headquarters. Yeah, they must be valid. Sorry, sir, but they are not. I guess let's just keep talking to him. What do you mean? I just saw a doctor jump off the cliff. I didn't see any doctor outside the base. What are you talking about? He must have run right past you. I wonder if when the helicopter zapped out of existence, the doctor came back into existence like the aliens had him. Oh, say, that's a nice gun you've got there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, indeed. <laughs> yes, sir, it is. XPR 13. Okay, subject change. Um, okay, kill him. That won't help. Disagree. Right. The f <laughs> oh, I am Groot. Had to do a nice little turn there. They're both dead. His gun must have triggered when that monster jumped on him. God dang. Look at that thing. It's like if the, the Hulk and Archer from Small Soldiers had a baby. The weapon is too damaged to be of any use. Come on now. What is this abomination? Genetic experiment? Why are my codes invalid? General said they should have all security. I don't like this at all. Dead guard and monster. I mean, might as well. They are, correct. Unlock the doors with this terminal. Then use it. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Wrench, wrench to use. Access terminal alpha. <laughs> Buh. Unlock door. Don't have access to do that, of course. Bypass? Rewire the hardware. Do I have, like, oh, full keyboard. Well. Indicate the doors are locked or unlocked. Okay. What if I cut open the terminal? Electro engineer training. Guess it's time to put my knowledge to work. Let's unscrew this. Nice. Okay. Okay, reset the main code storage chip. Should have access now. Bypass? Code change to that. Code change to asterisk underscore. Oh, okay. Unlock door. Oh, exit. Okay, cool. Woo. Go through, Nimrod. Dude. Probably should use the keypad. Ah. There you go. Door terminal says access living quarters laboratory locked by senior staff. I probably shouldn't. Why? Communication and alarm. Oh, I see, I see. So they sent me in here with a parachute and a knife. There's a broken terminal there. Need a key card. Let's check out this. Out of order. Yeah. Fix it, electric engineer guy. Hello, doctor. Let me haul at you. I am new here. <laughs> new here or what are you doing here doctor 
You're kidding, really. Scintillating conversation. What about you? What are you doing here? I'm an inspector. I am a spy. I do laundry. I'm an inspector, I guess, is the closest to my actual purpose here. Okay, first need to call my supervisor to be the witness. I'm supposed to be here. Why were all three options lies? I'm a spy. If you're not really one of the staff, I have much to tell you. What? He's like, an inspector, I see. Well, I'm gonna need to call my supervisor a spy? Well, sit down and open your ears, buddy. Alien technology. Alien? An army engineer came across strange reading in the, the Ural Mountains. Ural. I love, I love how Artyom says Ural in uh, Metro Exodus. The uh, cave was actually part of a spaceship. Nice, a la the thing. Each one had a strange S engraving on the artifacts inside. Uh, more than a year later, Attard Alien Technology Research Division, was that? In Taiga. Uh, during the research, they activated one of the artifacts. Three men went missing shortly after. I was assigned there three months after that incident. We soon learned that the artifact was actually a teleportation device. It took us three full years to learn the basics of teleportation procedure. First connected teleportation with animals, but... <laughs> the pig lizard turned inside out and exploded. Soon we turned into experimenting with humans. Some of the equipment in this facility and I came along. After some time, we learned how to realize the full potential of that device. We soon began to... Okay, enormous. We have a nuclear reactor to power the teleporter. Problem was, expedition crews couldn't pack that kind of energy with them. All has changed three years ago. We found the second part of the spaceship containing useful plans and models of how to create small but super powerful power station. We sent engineers through and they constructed a power plant and came back. Wow, ballsy. At the time, we were sending expeditions to the frozen planet Hoth. There were no structures or signs of civilization. Soon with some minor adjustments, we could teleport things directly to the planet from which our spaceship arrived, the desert planet called Carbon. That's when things began to go bad. This is a guy who just said, I'm a spy. And this doctor's just like, well, let me spill, baby. All right. Be able to learn a lot about the mutations are not random. Rather, there's some plants, planted DNA signatures, react with our blood. Things are getting out of control lately. Ah. Oh. What was the monster outside? That must have been Dr. Rudeus. Poor bastard, they infected him on purpose with the plant poison we found on the alien planet. Why did the base stop communicating with HQ? I don't know the answer to that. I was sent here to investigate after communication stopped. Unfortunately, I think you were tricked. They found out the mutator poison. They started to conduct experiments on animals, but the results were poor, so they began to use humans. What? He already said that, dude. They wanted to see the effect of the poison on the healthy, strong people. That's where they begin to use their own soldiers. And I think you must be one of the test subjects. He must be joking. I certainly didn't sign up for any assignment like that. Well, let me ask you this. Do you have any relatives? Actually, no. See my point? <laughs> Those goddamn bastards. Because I fell out of a helicopter that crashed. I guess I got lucky. You fell out of a helicopter and survived? Yeah, I had an experimental parachute. Ah, it's aliens. Alien technology. I don't like to work here at all. I'm not a bad person, but I cannot quit like Dr. Rodeus. Uh, You mean turn into a monster and die? Ah, card key. Thank you, sir. How dangerous is the virus? Um, Come into contact, then you're beyond any possible help. It immediately begins to overwrite your DNA. After extreme pain and suffering, you become partially alien. Mutation takes about two days to complete. You won't actually physically change until the last half hour. Wow. Burr. <laughs> what, a, what conversationalist. Will we talk later? I don't know. Okay, so I have the card key. Level two access. Nice picture of Dr. Monroe on it. I'm going to keep walking this way for a second before I go back to that door that needed a key, a card key. To laboratory three. There's no keypad. 
Probably use the terminal to unlock. Cool. Res look, look at it, please. Maybe I can use it. Maybe you can, big doofus. But it's locked. Okay. Oh, uh, system administration has the unlocking potential. Left terminal, middle terminal, right terminal. So many terminal. I just, holy f <laughs> Something tells me no. Something tells me no, and I am not familiar with the saving procedures of this game here. So let's head back to that door then, because I get the feeling that robot would chop me in half with lead. Noise. All right, get in there, Bob Box body. Nothing special on it. Instruments are bloody. Operated on someone recently. Test tubes. What's that? Injection. An injection. It's empty. Waste basket. Nothing special. Okay. I wonder what's inside. I knew that was going to happen. Holy shit! <laughs> Beast. Beast indeed. How did you break that glass there, buddy? Is that one of your um, alien powers? Surely if I open that door, I die. Oh, another door. That would do it. Full of paper, you say? Anything useful? No reason to do that. Fine. Workstation. Computer interface. I can use it if I know what to look for. Computer. It's 2016. Computers really haven't changed much. Ooh, the future. Useless junk. Top right drawer is locked. Can I... No, damn it. Can I um, pry it open? Doesn't work. Okay. Let's take a look at the workstation. Whoa. What the f- Oh. <laughs> I thought- I thought it, um, I could- I didn't remember that this isn't on a virtual machine. I was like, oh dear. What happened? Um. Oh. Row. Bah, butts. Okay. Um, log in as user. Sign in as administrator. Okay. I don't have. Already empty, is it? Launch monkey at. Oh, is this. Is this a LucasArts? I can't. I can't find anything. Maybe that's just an in joke about it, another adventure game. Can I. Serious error has occurred. Do you want to continue? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that's a dig on Monkey Island? I I don't know. Uh, don't have time for fooling around. Don't have time for fooling around. Picture. Too artistic. I don't like it. Man after my own heart. Maybe the alien has gone away now? Nope. Okay, I just, uh, I just looked up a guide, which is probably not as shameful as it felt considering adventure games are what they are and while i looked at the monster i didn't use the monster and the monster has a key on them which dollars to donuts opens um opens that drawer i didn't look any further all i saw was monster cert or use monster find key and i'm willing to bet it's the key to the drawer some keys Let's, um, probably for a locker. Cool. Small key unlocked. Yeah, buddy. You have unlocked the drawer. Good job. Look at it now. It's unlocked. No. Surely. Surely you must know that if I unlocked it. I want. No, it's not. Some kind of diary. Okay, wow. That was some really pixel-perfect clicking it wanted. Alfred R Rodeus. I'm just going to write down everything I see with the right 
capitalizations, spaces, and all that stuff. Arrived in Tundra. Orders begin. Jobs interesting. Bad moments. Tuesday 512 showed some interesting results. So things have cooled down. Something awful happened today. It was partially my fault. I forgot to use sedative on subject 13. Thank God for the guards. They reacted quickly and put the beast out of its misery. Monroe really got angry at me. Damn fall changed everything. Get nervous and hardly sleeping. We're testing on soldiers again. They're brought into the labs. I told the standard vaccination and they're isolated. For the studies, man, that's messed up, man. That's messed up. 75% have died. General must be really angry today. I overheard him saying the Pentagon has stopped sending test subjects due to our lack of progress. Maybe he'll start his own, start using his own personnel. It's guinea pigs. He may be crazy. But even he has limits. Time to go to bed. Can't believe it. The general really used one of his own soldiers. A terminal administrator. A terminal administrator. Not too important. Maybe that's why he was chosen. I'm sure nothing good will come of this. Oh, wow. They really, uh... They really just hit you over the head with it. That's not what I expected. See, I didn't play very many adventure games, but I've heard horror stories about how obtuse they are. And so far, this one has not been very obtuse. It's been fairly straightforward. It was boring. Paperwork, clean test tubes, so on. Lunch was terrible. Wah. I learned something amazing today. Not only does the foreign DNA almost completely rewrite the host DNA, but it also transfers some memories and basic fighting knowledge. The monster is almost fully combat ready, only five minutes after the final mutation. It's the final mutation! We had yet another accident at Lab 2 yesterday. Dr. Strobsky fell and broke his leg. So today I got orders to vaccinate him with the alien virus. Dang! I mean, surely he could just use crutches. The thing is getting out of control. Somebody must inform Military HQ or the press or something. All dead are being teleported away somehow. I witnessed it through the security camera, the privilege of being an administrator. I still hate it here. I sent another complaint today. Finally, some good news. The general said that my complaints are reasonable. He will send a request to transfer me back to Taiga. I sure hope they approve it. Nah, man, they vaccinated you. It must be my lucky day. I am officially being re reassigned back to Taiga tomorrow. I'm on my way right now to go sign the release papers. Can't wait to get out of here. Nope. Nope. You're going to be test subject, boy. Admin 55. Um, Stargate. Ooh, gate. Got it. All right. Unlock everything. What? Control error. Control override. Terminal one locked. Terminal. Oh boy, is this going to be a puzzle or something? Warning: access to library. Terminal three and terminal lock procedure on. Uh. Terminal not responding. Okay. So terminal four, lab three. That's in the hallway. Before the um, uh, what you call it? Uh the robot okay have access doors are now unlocked right okay <laughs> just walked in the room backwards <laughs> whoa check out the cut of those cheeks damn thunderclap Ooh, what's that that's a gun that's a gun you're a restricted area shut up sent by the general to check on things don't touch anything i'm touching this I'm touch- Where are you going? I'm touching this. This is mine now. Oh, yeah. Hey, you could break something. Get back. Man, eat me. Microscope. Ooh. How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet? Lens goes in microscope. Nice. Check it out. Zoom. Focus. Axi Ooh. That was notepad time again. Four, seven, one, three, nine, nine, zero, one. Not sure what I got the code to. Have I come across any other terminals? 
Should I? Should I? I'm doing it. Guardian robot with two miniguns looks pretty deadly. Functions. Oh, fuck. Valid identification. I work here. Here's my key card. Yeah. Checking. Key card valid. Eye scan. Uh oh. That's not going to match. Oh, no. So close. I will leave. Okay. So we have to remove Dr. Monroe's eyes. The island of Dr. Monroe. <laughs> That's, that was tortured as hell. Just to keep things moving, I looked at the guide again and it says something about being able to use the test tubes in that first laboratory. So again, stopped reading immediately, heading back there. So really quick, actually, let's just go ahead and pop old Monroe's eyes out. No? Maybe I just looked at them and I didn't try and use them. Took two full, oh, indeed. Again, I just looked at everything. I didn't actually try and use everything. The difference between the wrench and the magnifying glass. No, God damn it! I want it. injection. This pixel perfect BS. There we go. Bloop. Can't do that. Why? Okay, can I stab up the monster with the? Oh no. Maybe I can stick this jerk with it. Get a little bit closer. Come a little bit closer. I'm sticking your ass. Sorry to. Oh. Sorry, Doc, I have to do this. Yoink. Cool. Well, that worked. Now I got a gun. Maybe I can shoot the monster through the window? Either way, I need this dude's eyes. Wait. Gotta try it. Can't do that. Fine. Can't or won't? Stand right in front of him. Shoot it. Oh. What do I do with the pulse rifle? Surely it's not as simple as just shooting the big robot. Bling? Let's see if this gun is worth all that money. What money? Look at that grin he's got. <laughs> Alert. Oh wow, it really is that simple. Consider the divorce. <laughs> okay, let's um, let's look at the robot. Definitely look at the robot. No. You use the robot. No. Okay. Cool. Oh, now I can look at the robot. And use the robot. Piece of junk. What do you got? He already got his medicine. <laughs> My God, this game was made in two thousand and five. You know what else was made in two thousand and five? Resident Evil Four. <laughs> Warning, only personnel with clearance level eight can enter the teleportion room. Teleportion room, hey. We've got, we've got a code for that, don't we? What? Dr. Monroe's handprints? What? Okay, well maybe he'll be cooperative if I go back and tell him that the robot's dead or something. Oh, balls. Don't run or we'll be forced to fire. Shit, they got me. Mr. Dorian Smith, we do not expect to find you here. General, you're the one behind this? I'm just part of the machine. But yes, I run this facility like a machine. So you did not stay in the chopper machine, it seems. Well, never mind. I shall correct this shit mistake like a machine. You can't just run other people's lives like machines. You can't send them to their death for your own needs. Like you did to that doctor when you've... Oh, I vaccinated him with the virus. Oh no, well, oh no. Whoops. So I should have used the blue one? Look around you boy. Facing interspecies war. No, you're not. 
you found an old ship and decided to go to their planet and start putting their DNA in people. Oh, you just don't understand. Sacrifice a few good men. Yada, yada, yada. Let's go to the teleportation room. That's what I wanted to do anyway. Why did I have the code? Already waiting for you on the other side. You're sending me to the ice planet? Ha ha. No, you're going to the alien desert planet called Carbon. I'm afraid I hate deserts. I'll have to decline the trip. You're still cheerful. I'll change once you get there. Now step onto the platform. I have a feeling that we'll meet again, General. Ha! Not likely, Trooper. I have a bad feeling about this. You're about to get in the carbonite. Ice planet? I thought he said I was going to the desert planet. Carbon. Burr. Huh. I didn't feel a thing. That's what she said. What's going on? This isn't a desert planet. Looks like I was teleported to the ice planet. How did that happen? Maybe it was Dr. Monroe. Hmm. They took all of my items except for this useless data pad. Oh. I mean, I guess that's a good place to stop, right? That's like chapter one done. Especially if they took all my items. I mean, I'm, I'm having fun. If, uh, if you want me to keep playing this, let me know. Uh, you know, like it and leave me comments and stuff. Uh, otherwise, I probably won't, especially if there's no save function. I, like, oh, holy crap. I went all that time. Ice planet. Plant it. Planet. Okay, yeah. Um, that was F1 that did that, by the way. Uh, yeah, let me know if you want me to keep going it. Otherwise, um... I think we've easily learned what the f Project Xenophobe is. It's a fairly decent adventure game. Most, for the most part, not too obtuse. I'm Smokey Lau. This is Horror and Cats. I'll see you next time. Boop. Yes.